My name is Ben Sexton, and I'm the CEO of Monogram Orthopedics. Monogram is the future of orthopedic medicine. We looked at Monogram and we see an opportunity for something that's really not been done that we know of in the field today. That is our mission as a company, to make it as good as it can get right now. And when Monogram gets that full FDA approval, it will be very disruptive to orthopedics. If Monogram can successfully commercialize low-cost, patient-specific implants with high-technology robotic instrumentation, I think that it will disrupt the orthopedic market. And it's going to change things forever. We're doing joint replacements in an analog way still. You know, everybody gets an off-the-shelf, one-size-fits-all kind of implant. That the way it was done was by picking implants, generic implants that sort of fit and inserting them with crude manual instrumentation that sort of worked. The future of orthopedic medicine is highly personal. It's about delivering patient-specific solutions that are perfectly fit and perfectly inserted. Utilizing technology like Monogram system will help decrease the risk to the patient, to the surgeon, and to the healthcare payer. So we're talking about technology that is just becoming viable for the application we're discussing. Patient-specific implants that are 3D printed is the future. What's really interesting about patient-specific implants using 3D printing is you can take CT or MRI data and use that to directly create an implant that would match a patient's anatomy perfectly. Uh, surgeons will demand it, patients will demand it. I think robot adoption will continue to accelerate. So this is a generic press fit implant. Uh, you can see that it's, it's essentially flat. We're all of a sudden asking ourselves, wait a minute, why are we using flat implants? Like, why do we put a flat, flat seesaw type implant on, on tibia? That's not, that's not the best thing. We have a solution that nobody else in the market is doing that's completely proprietary and will be completely disruptive. We're creating rounded surfaces because we can do it. We're, we're doing it because we can because we have a, a robot that can, that can mill any shape that we want. Where before, the technology wasn't quite there. Today, we can use these materials. They come off the machines fully dense, need very little post-processing, and can almost go straight into a patient. Every patient's bone is different, and we don't actually know what the cavities are gonna look like. What you're seeing here is the robot demonstrating its ability to maneuver in very unique ways and twist and reach cavities that can be difficult to reach. Using robotic technology for hip replacements has decreased dislocation rate, has improved patient satisfaction rate, um, has decreased leg length discrepancies. Having the robot contort itself in, in a variety of positions facilitates obstacle avoidance, so it allows us to, um, to, to speed up the milling time because the robot is so, is so capable of positioning itself in such a way that it can avoid obstacles while still completing the task at hand. A technology like this could not only upset the surgical realm by having a better value stream there, but it could also upset the manufacturing realm because it has the potential to replace existing technologies. I work with Monogram really for two reasons. They are the only company that is utilizing robotics and custom fit implants together. The second reason I'm working with them is because I get to work with some of the most innovative minds in orthopedics today. New femoral stems are required to undergo the test methods ISO 7206-4 and 7206-6 if seeking FDA approval. We have simulated ISO 7206-4 and 6 tests of our stem and passed successfully. Monogram has engaged some of the leading regulatory experts in the field to help assist us with our FDA submission. We plan on submitting via the FDA's 510K pathway. The goal of a 510K is to demonstrate substantial equivalence, uh, a comparison of a new device to a legally marketed device. And the legally marketed device is referred to by FDA as predicate. The market is ready for a just-in-time, patient-specific, delivery of this care, and Monogram is going to do it. Not only is the market ready for it from a business standpoint, but patients deserve better. Monogram's com competition, those OEMs that are out there now selling these types of products, 
manufactured from traditional means and implanted with traditional means, we'll have to look at a whole new way of doing business. On a personal note, you know, we, we focus on, on patients a lot, and as we should. This is all about taking care of patients. We can mitigate a lot of these complications and eliminate some of them, and to solve them with technology, and to look a patient in the eye and say, this is as good as it gets now.